Holy f**k, I can't believe I spent 5 hours trying to figure out how to get a complete Santa outfit when I didn't even need it. Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and oh my god, I am so pissed off still. In Animal Crossing, we had a new update, and the new update is still locked unless you're watching this video on December 23rd, technically, then it won't be locked in Australia or stuff like that. The point in today's video is, one, turns out you don't need Santa's outfit for the Christmas event, so that's everyone online, all of you are f***ing lies for telling me that I needed that, because I spent five hours trying to get the whole costume. Issue here is, there's a lot of unknowns what's going to happen towards the event, and I wish I knew what was actually going to happen in events because all my preparations for my upcoming video has been worthless. <laughs> so we're going to start off by not spoiling much and we're just going to tell you guys how to get the Santa outfit and then the observation of how we figure out you don't need the Santa outfit for the Christmas event and then finally someone actually got proof of what happens during the Christmas event so you guys know how to prepare for it but most importantly you don't waste as much time as I did because I spent five hours trying to get that complete Santa outfit. So the Santa outfit. It's pretty standard. You go to the clothing shop, you buy the Santa outfit. It can appear from December 1st to 23rd. Right now, 24th is soft lock. So if you time travel to 24th, no matter what, nothing's going to happen until the actual Christmas Eve event happens. Then everything gets unlocked from that day. But anything from 1st to 23rd, that's when you can get the Santa outfit. Some days you can get one or two costumes, but about three of the days throughout the month, you have the opportunity to get all four. So the hat, the shirt, the pants, and the beard. The last one is Santa's boots, which I have friends who have went through the system data and have told me they do exist. I have reset kick 45 times today. That is why I spent five hours trying to get the full complete Santa outfit, and I did not see at all because the fact that Kick has over like 300 different shoes of different colors, the chances of you getting Santa shoes is very slim. It is going to be impossible for you to get Santa's boots. So that made me scared, saying that, okay, I'm never going to get the full costume. If you look at the red forms from last gen's Animal Crossing, you don't need a boot. So if you get those four, you're perfectly fine. You don't need a boots. If you're a completionist, good luck, have fun. Now here's the interesting part. If you actually watch the trailer, you can notice that the girl does not wear most of the Christmas outfit. In fact, her boots are not even Santa's boots. Those are some other boots like that are not even Christmassy at all. So I showed this information to Crossing Life and she says, wow, she's not wearing pants. And I'm like, one, she's not wearing beard either. But two, you're focused on the legs. And she said, well, you gotta copy Jingle because Jingle doesn't wear pants either, which I'm like, that's my YouTube best friend. This game's already E for everyone. Anyways, I made us realize that you probably don't have to wear the outfit properly at all. You only need to wear one or two. But here's the part where you, we found out from a YouTuber named Jack. He actually unlocked most of the Animal Crossing content. And you don't even have to wear Santa outfit. You can wear nothing at all. Please wear something. In fact, the only things you need is the ornaments from the tree in order to do the whole Christmas event. Big key for ornaments is you need setter trees in order for ornaments to drop. I actually cut down all my trees that are setters because they don't give me money. I had to replant them. So just FYI, you should start planting those pine trees so then you can get ornaments from them. So that just dumbs down the event completely. You don't have to pay attention to villagers. I spent an hour talking to all my villagers trying to figure out what gifts they want. Turns out they do not want any gifts. On the day of, you just give them a random gift. Also, the villagers are lying to you when they say they have a gift for you because they, they will never give you a gift on Christmas. I know my villagers, they don't give me gifts like that. So now, at this point, it is a spoiler part. If you guys don't want to get spoiled by Christmas, that's all the information you need to know. Now, if you want to get spoiled, this is what happens. You meet Jingle, he gives you a DIY to make wrapping paper. You get the wrapping paper, you use the ornaments to make it. After that, he gives you the bag. You, you get the bag to all your villagers, the end. That just seems very, very little. Yes. So yeah, that is the whole Christmas event. So if you want to start preparing for it, just buy the toys in the Nook shop, have fun, just decorate your town. That's Animal Crossing for you. I should probably also say happy holidays because you know, the holidays are coming up. If you're watching this video, obviously you're going to celebrate or you are time traveling like no tomorrow, but you know, happy holidays, stay safe and um, don't get stressed like I did today because I, I still can't find those Santa boots. Alright, this is where I have to get some ornaments. Holy. Uh, uh, oh, Dom, 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 open the door. Okay. Well, 